Good morning, my friends. It's another day that the Lord has blessed us. For this is a day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, for you are my strength and my redeemer. Proverbs 17.22 says, A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bone. My subject this morning is, Be of good cheer. We have all heard the expression, Laughter is the best medicine. Some of us may think that statement is just an old saying. But think again. Research has shown that laughter has profound psychological and physiological benefits. Laughter is a powerful form of stress relief. It can improve your mood and boost your immune system and even relieve pain. And guess what, my brothers and my sisters? It is easy to do and inexpensive. Laughter, humor, and happiness plays a key role in good health. We should take time out of our everyday busy routines to look around us and take a deep breath and be thankful for the many blessings the Lord has provided for us to enjoy. Laughter allows us to see situations in a different light. It may not solve our problems, but it can help us to cope with them better. God gave us a clue about the effects of joy on our bodies. When he put Proverbs 17, 22 in the Bible, there it says, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. Think about that for a moment. A merry or cheerful, joyful heart works like a medicine. Now, if joy strengthens you, then what does a broken or sad or grievous spirit do? It works the opposite way. It weakens you. A broken spirit makes you sicker. The Bible gives us wisdom if we receive its instructions and obey its principles. A merry heart or a broken spirit is a choice. You can choose joy and be cheerful, or you can choose to be negative, finding fault with everything. There are definite benefits of having a merry heart. First of all, a merry heart is a joyful heart. We are joyful because of what God is doing and because of who he is. We are reminded in scripture in the book of James 5.13, he says, if we are merry or cheerful, we should sing songs or have a song in your heart, my brothers and sisters. When circumstances are not what they should be, we can minister to ourselves with spiritual hymns. This proverb states that a merry heart does good like a medicine. And a medicine often what? Soothes. And a merry heart will soothe us from anxiety. It also soothes our attitude so that we can respond respectfully and properly to others. Medicine is taken to reduce pain. And a merry heart reduces the pain of hurt feelings and failed expectations and misunderstandings as well. So you may ask, how do we receive a merry heart? We receive it when we have accepted Christ and his redemptive work of justification at Calvary. Isaiah 26 and 3 tells us, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed 
on thee because he trusted in thee. Therefore, true peace comes from the Lord and focusing on him. Secondly, a merry heart is a heart that praises. When we realize that it is because of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed and that his compassion fail not and are new every morning. And so great is his faithfulness to us. It causes us to want to bless the Lord at all times where his praises are continually in our mouth. So a merry heart will make a joyful noise unto the Lord and will serve the Lord with gladness coming into his presence with singing because the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. We are then to offer up the sacrifice of praise to God continually, which is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Finally, a merry heart is a heart that praises. The Bible says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to let your requests be made known unto God, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. That's the heart that prays to God. I close this morning with these words to remind you that a merry heart really does good like a medicine. So today, be of good cheer, be blessed, and be encouraged, and know that God loves you.